Okay, YouTube. It's uh, April 20th, 2013. Uh, it's been a while since I put up a video uh, regarding my um, intake manifold swap on the 3800 uh, going from the plastic intake manifold to uh, the metal one from the later cars. Um, I want to say I did that in 2009. I'm not sure. I don't have that in front of me, but I, I think it's 2009. Uh, that was about, I don't know, maybe 60, 70,000 miles ago. Um, car's got about 140,000 on it now. Uh, it, anyway, uh, I see quite a few people are actually still watching that video, which is great. I love that uh, I can be of assistance. Um, anyway, I thought I would uh, have an, uh, show you guys an update. Um, things have been going on um, and how it's been working out. Uh, kind of windy out today. Uh, late April in Michigan, and it is cold and windy. I'm sure you guys can hear that. Anyway, about the car. So, again, about 50,000, 40, 50,000 miles on it. Um, no leaks at all. None whatsoever. I'm really happy with the way that stayed dry. Um, <clears throat> this coolant elbow, I uh, can't see my... There it is. Um, I think I've posted in the comments, I'm not sure if I've ever actually made a remark about it, but this coolant elbow uh, failed. I got an aftermarket one from uh, <clears throat> Napa, I think. I'm not sure who makes them for Napa, but it failed. Uh, so I had to, rather than resealing the intake, I removed the alternator, the strut here obviously, and then the alternator bracket uh, which goes into the this uh, rear cylinder head. Come on, focus. Focus. Not on my finger on the Oh, come on. Anyway, this uh, rear cylinder here. Sorry about the focus, this camera is kind of undesirable. So, once uh, that came off, I was able to replace that elbow. Uh, went with the GM one this time. Had I had the option, uh, I probably would have ordered the uh, cast aluminum one from ZZ Performance um, and been a little bit better off in the long run. But hopefully I don't have to keep this car long enough to... Uh, to justify. So, anyway, um, no leaks, none whatsoever. Uh, no coolant leaks. The coolant level has been dead, dead stable uh, ever since I did that. Um, if you, I'll put a link to the original video describing the uh, swap in in the description of this video. If you haven't seen it already. Uh, you should check it out and um, kind of see what I'm talking about and why I did this. But the short version was the elbow, coolant elbow, uh, like they all do, failed. And the lower intake was leaking coolant up into the lower manifold, those little cavities where the bolts are. It was just coming right up the right up the uh, bolt threads because it was the old style plastic gasket which is just a just a bad bad idea uh, I went ahead and used the Felpro problem solver kit on this and it has the second design uh, metal backed gasket with the silicone seal seals on them um, and uh, yeah I've been very happy with that I usually try to go OEM when I can but I was so disgusted with GM when I did this that I didn't want to spend any more money at the dealer. Um, so, let's see, what else? Um, I've had some problems with this car uh, with fuel leaks. Um, I'm not going to get down on the ground, it's gravel around here, but anyway. 
Uh, the fuel sending unit, uh, which comes out of the tank with the steel lines, um, actually rusted to the point where the quick release fittings on the uh, plastic lines, as they come down out of the tank, rusted. Uh, and so it wouldn't seal, and so it was dripping fuel. So I spent $350 on a new fuel pump sending unit uh, only to have the fuel return hose or the return steel line uh, rust out and of course you touch it and they crack and rust flakes off and, and then I had a, few, a pretty bad fuel leak for a while there. Uh, I was able to cut the hose out now that the weather is warm-ish and uh, uh, I cut the fuel line out, replaced it with a rubber hose. That's really not the proper way to fix it, but I'm not buying new lines for this car. Uh, sorry to say, but... Uh, anyway, got that fixed. Um, trying to think if there's anything else that I need to do. The car needs struts, not going to do it. Hopefully I, I can get a better job, get rid of it. Uh, get a better car. But, stuff I, as... Uh, I've been having kind of ongoing issues with the transmission on this car uh, with the um, torque converter clutch slip uh, under heavy load uh, when the transmission is hot. It's been the winter time. Um, so it hasn't been a big issue around here. Hopefully it's not going to be in the summer either, but I have uh, changed the transmission fluid Partially, anyway, I ran out of fluid. Uh, again, not gonna do a, um, not gonna pull the valve body apart on this uh, for the uh, P1870 um, transmission component slipping code that these things are kind of notorious for. Uh, so I'm just gonna drive it, and hopefully, um, somebody who has. Um, more time, money, or places to fix their car than I um, will buy it and, and drive it until it wheels fall off of it. Um, anyway, I think that's about it. Well, thanks for watching my videos. Uh, if you haven't subscribed already, subscribe. And uh, thanks for dropping by.